Last week, you saw us cut two giant holes in our boat in order to take out the old engines. We successfully removed both engines and then unboxed and explored our two brand new Yanmar 110 horsepower engines. And in this episode, we're going to put them in. All right. It's in. It's in. It's in. It. And take them out. There were some measurements that were off. Okay. So, what we've done here is we've got everything prepped for the new engines. We had to make new mounting plates for the engine mounts right here. These stringers were a little narrow, and so they had to widen out the, the mounting plate for the new Yanmar engines. Just Catamarans had these built, and they bolted down. And then when they bring the engines down, they're going to set the engines on these. They're going to line up the engines with the drive shaft with the prop shaft and get the alignment and the angle right. Once they've got that right, then they'll test that several times. Then they'll drill the holes and they'll mount the engine. And uh, they painted all the way back to there. And, and uh, so it's nice. It's nice and clean down here. And, and the only thing I want to do is put some lights down here and, and uh, get some nice illumination all the way around here. So that'll be kind of cool. First engine is going in at one o'clock today. I just saw it on the ground over there. So we're getting ready to do that this afternoon. And uh, Tomorrow the other engine goes in, and while they're putting that engine in, fiberglass are coming over there on me and Renee's side to uh, start fiberglassing and everything back up. And uh, hopefully, uh, what is today, Thursday? So hopefully by Friday or Monday, fiberglass will be done. And uh, paint it and everything will be put back together. And then uh, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, if there's a weather window, we'll be getting out of here. So Just Catamaran's done a great job so far. I haven't had any complaints to win. When they get on it, they get on it. And I think the Yanmars are actually going to be a little skinnier. <laughs> So I can get down on the sides of the engines better and, and, and all that stuff. The other thing I've done on the Yanmars, and we'll show you once they're fully installed, the fuel filter and the oil filter are going to be remote filters back here in the sugar scoop. So I can literally service the entire engine from back there without, except for changing belts and an impeller. I can service the whole engine from back there without, and fill it up with oil from back there without ever having to come in here and, and, and touch the engine. So that's positive. Cool. All right. All right. All right, so new engines are fixing to go in. We've got a lot of scary points here as to how you're gonna hold. Is it gonna break? Is the engine gonna go in the water? Is the engine gonna go through the hole? Is anybody gonna be under the engine when it does go through? Is it gonna take a leg out? We don't know. Say those. Magical times right here. Up a bit more of it. Okay. All right, stop. Just hold it there. I'm gonna get them up here. Yeah, let them ease it forward, eh? Because it's gonna go to the hatch only. I got probably a foot in the front. All right, it's in. It's in. It's in. It's sitting. One more to go. Yeah, we're we'll do that one tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And it, it's at night vision, too. So if there's no light in there, you can still see. That's awesome. Because it's infrared. <laughs> but I mean, I can see the bill. I mean, when that engine's put, that's about where it's going to sit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was asking. So, so all I need to do is lift up the camera just a, just a hair, because I want to see this area. I want to see all of that. morning so something happened there was a sizing issue and they have to take that engine out and do something and then put it back in so they're gonna take it out this morning hopefully fix whatever didn't fit right and then put it back in this afternoon I hope Okay, so we've got the red line is attached to a Treco out there and I never did film that I didn't know that so that's how they're getting this out and then they're attached to our mast. And Keith is over there on the winch. And here she comes. So we had to take the engine. We were gonna fit the engines yesterday, but once we got one down there, they realized that the 
there were some measurements that were off or something was quite, not quite right. And uh, they've got to cut the stringers down that the engine sets on about two and a quarter inches. So the engine will be lower. The, the Volvo engines were, were lower mounted than the, uh, than the Yanmars are going to be. So they've got to do some fiberglass work on the stringers today and tomorrow or today they'll probably have it all done today and then tomorrow uh, uh or actually monday. monday we should be going back in with engines so uh not a big deal just cost a day or two but all right cole cool. back it up yep all right guys so we're here opening up the vita stuff Vitas maxwell's provided all the the, the support stuff that goes on the engine from the muffler to the uh, raw water hoses, raw water strainers. This is what, uh, when the when the engines are picking up water from the sea, little crabs, anything in the water, it goes through these little bad, bad boys. They look like this. And the water comes up through there and, and uh, it strains water so it's clean. Then that big particles going through the, uh, the heat exchanger on the new Yanmar engines. And then we got the outside mufflers that, uh, or these aren't the mufflers, these are just gonna go on the outside of the boat where my older exhausts are and they'll have a rubber thing there. I like that better because the ones I have now are metal and they can cut a dinghy and they can tear up a dinghy. So that's nice to have. We've got uh, the, uh, these are the uh, air vents. So you're, you don't siphon out the water every time when, you're, when your engine's running and your engine runs dry. So this prevents that. And then we got the mufflers. And those are nice little bad boys. Can't wait to put all this together on <laughs> Zatara. Once we get the engines in, Vetus, thank you for sending the stuff out when we need it. So the package showed up here from Vetus and FedEx or whoever the, the carrier was. Damaged the package yeah. and it was all messed up. Yeah. So you wouldn't see this kind of service, but just Catamarans calls me and says, Hey, Keith, I want you to come over here and look at this package, make sure nothing's broken because we need to make sure. And that's just the level of service we're getting out of just Catamarans. So, they're yeah. aware of things, they're looking at things, they know they're not just a bunch of employees just clocking a check, they're actually concerned about what's going on. Hey, are these parts damaged? So there's a level of awareness here that we've really enjoyed just catamarans, and uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a really good deal. I mean, I, I'm liking that kind of service. Yeah, it's unexpected. Yeah. But everything's there, so it's good.